Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round four of the Corellia Galactic Championship Qualifier. We're trying to get Coruscant invites. Only the top 32 in this tournament will be making it, and I'm looking forward to seeing this matchup. Now, in the Galactic Championship Series, what I've done is I'm teaming up with a bunch of different content creators from around the community, and this round four is a community matchup with Hexiled Gaming. How's it going, Scott? Great. How are you doing, Dion? I'm feeling good. We're also joined by Death Rain. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so for anybody who is uh, oh. is not familiar with them, Hexiled Gaming, where, where can I find Hexiled Gaming? You can find us at hexiledgaming.com or twitch.tv slash hexiledgaming. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Pretty straightforward there. <laughs> now, Death Rain, if I got to call you Death Rain uh, in order to boost your brand, where do we find your blog? Uh, you find my blog on deathrainsblog.com. Hang on, let me just check the... <laughs> <laughs> just classic. Google Death Rain's Cl blog. Classic, classic. Well, as we're going into that, um, we want to say thank you to our round sponsor, Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code Corellia2020 for 20% off. And before we go too far, the betting is open. For those of you who like to do that, go ahead and choose your champion. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. Every time you're, as you're watching the channel, you get channel points, and you can use those and wager them against players to see who will be the monarch of the mountain. You can also use them uh, for different, uh, different little things that we do once in a while including triggering on-screen animations if you know the uh some some of those commands maybe throw some of those in there for those of you who are points rich uh to wager on the game you're going to type exclamation point bet you're going to put a space you're going to type one or two one is for trevor two is for richard and then you put another space, and then you're going to type the amount of points you want to wager on the game. Uh, and if you're doing it the Gold Squadron way, instead of writing a number, you write the word all, because we only go one way here. Hard. Okay? That's what we do. All right, Hexiled, let's go ahead and break down these lists. All right, on the left, Trevor bets a consummate Hexman uh, flying triple K-Wings. He's got Miranda and two Warden Squadron pilots. Miranda's got plasma torpedoes for stripping shields, and there are plenty of shields on the right side to strip. Barrage rockets, uh, pretty great on K-Wings. You can keep your bow tie arc left and right and still get a three-dice shot out the front. You do have a little space, range one out the front that you don't have shots in. Uh, we'll see if Richard can maneuver into that position. He's got lots of bombs, protons, proximities. He's got Sabine for debuffing you if you get hit by one of those bombs. He's got Cassian on one K-Wing and Informant on the other. And what we're probably going to see is those are going to reveal dials from Richard. And then that's going to help Trevor either change his dial on Cassian or probably, more importantly, uh, give him uh, information on whether he wants to drop bombs or not. Once he looks at your dial, he's going to say, hey, could I hit this ship with a bomb drop? Yes, no. And then that'll help him with that decision. Uh, on the other side, Death Rain, what's Richard flying? Uh, Richard's flying Obi Wan of Delta Seven B and R Four P Astromech, and three count them three One Hundred Four Battalion pilots. Uh, so we're going to see a giant wall of uh, health shields and red dice, and Obi Wan to come in from the sides of this little surgical syringe. At a wonky angle, might I add? <laughs> how, how do you feel about the the angle that Obi Wan deployed at? You've got to have 90 or 45, or you need to pack your stuff up and go home, as far as I'm concerned. All concerned. right, guys. <laughs> that is a Death Rain quote. <laughs> Xbox record that. <laughs> um, so um, so uh, R4P Astromech, uh, before you execute a basic maneuver, you just spend one charge. If you do, you can execute that maneuver. It reduces difficulty. You can do that twice in the game. Yeah, so R4 gives you more blues on the ones and twos. R4P says you can reduce the difficulty of anything, but you can only do it twice. Yeah, so you can't do K turns because they're not basic. Is that right? Right. Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah. That was a good guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives you the option to do something like clearing clearing a, a stress or a strain on a maneuver that you normally could not have uh, can be really, really helpful with those Jedi um, that's a really common use for it, or of course, just trying to uh, open up the the dial on uh, on on moves where you <laughs> you uh, you really need a blue maneuver. Like it just it it is a fantastic piece of tech. 
forward, let's see. How much how much more is R four P? Let's double check that than R four regular. Uh, oh, they're the same. Yeah, exactly. And the flexibility you get there is is amazing. Well, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna have engagement right away. The green Arc 170 is already in range. Oh. And look at this! Look at this! There's some rock. Blue does hit the rock in that opening engagement. Went a little too fast. Rolled in so the dice question. and takes a damage early on blue. Trying to get aggressive and trying to surprise these K wings, I think was the plan there, and uh, e eating some stone for that. Uh, I know it, it sucks to be on that rock, but I gotta take a second to appreciate those like World War II bomber skins for the Arc 170. Those are awesome. They do look really, really good. By the way, if you want to learn how to save your repaints that you have on TTS uh, to make them quickly spawnable and also update, we actually uh, just updated quite a few TTS tutorials on the Gold Squadron Podcast YouTube channel um, in order to just, just get the information out there for anybody who's playing in any of the future uh, events just to be ready to go. So that's a little little PSA out there. I also know that the Hexiled Gaming YouTube channel has quite a bit there if you're brand new to a tabletop simulator and you want to get started that's another great place to get some information yep and we can see here green and uh and and blue move up and i think there was a, a little bit of a, a you know a thought process there on whether you want to slam there's always a debate of whether you want to take this two dice shot or do you want to get into a better bombing position next round mm -hmm. so he decides to stay there i think he was expecting green to go full on speed uh so you want to do the same and get around the back instead and we're seeing a lock for Miranda. She's going to fire those plasma torpedoes. Uh, they're going to strip a shield if they hit and then deal the damage. Now, you Very know, good against these Arc 170s. The, and, the, and the fact... With the K-Wings, the 180 ops. Yep. The fact that the... the um, that the blue arc 170 is not uh, able to shoot this turn is actually really great for miranda <laughs> i think in, in normal situations oh, yeah. i don't know if i agree with jousting uh, like this i'd be a little bit more patient with those torpedoes but this worked out because you only have one shot coming back and you got three going into whatever target you're going into yeah uh and it looks like he yeah he's gonna plasma green and then like Deathrin said we're gonna see side shots from green and blue now who's got player one it looks like uh richard yeah. So his green will shoot, his arc 170 will shoot first, and then we'll get those other two wardens. Here we go. Plasma to start us off. Let's strip some shields. And also just great, absolutely great tech because of the fact that he only has one agility. So it's almost guaranteed to hit as long as you rolled more than one. And there it is. Spending the lock, trying to get three. And that's going to do is. a total of four damage. The shield from the effect... Oh, sorry. I'm assuming the die. Sorry. Lies. It'll be a, do a total of three damage. <laughs> the shield uh, plus the other two. And if I'm not that's mistaken... Right, you got to respect those natties. That's right. Respect the natties. And uh, <laughs> also, it's important to note that crit results are canceled before hits. So that's why he's not taking a crit on uh, on that uh, on that hole. Now, that is a part of the plasma torpedo that I often overlook. Same here. I, I remembered it right as I was to say, right as I was about to say, that he was going to take a crit. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said it too. Yeah. I was like, got there first. <laughs> All right, here we go. Arc one seventy into the blue K wing. He's got a lock. Doesn't need it. Whew. That one's free. Hit hit crit. Yep, spending the. I like the focus expenditure here. You're already ahead in the damage race. Be conservative. Hold on to that health. Takes two. Yellow's got no shots. So let's see what the K Wings do back into the arcs. Obstructed. Range three from green. I didn't go slow and get some rocket shots off. Because the blue and yellow are way too out of the fire, out of the fire anyway. Hmm. Just one out the side. Ooh. And you have to consider if you even be able to escape that one. Taking another damage on that Arc 170. Give a little shuffle. It is. 
We're one away from half there. Ooh, both shots obstructed. Yeah, you take the range two shot, hoping to get half points here, but not today because you spent your focus on defense, which is okay. It's all right. You're still you're still ending up ahead. All right, so blue. Blue's the one with informant and uh, the listening device is on Obi, so we won't see that happening. Cassian is on... Green. Green, which is too far away. Uh-huh. Miranda's in trouble, I think. Uh, don't know how you're going to escape. So, yeah, the, the blue arc 170 is likely... I mean, you're already on the rock. You're going to hit it, so your maneuver... You know, you, you have the space, and the, the question you have to answer is, is Miranda... Let me go ahead and, and grab the telestrator here. Is Miranda going to try to turn away and slamming through that channel? And if you think that's the case, you end up turning there. Focus firing oh, here. Be look at this screen now. Because the uh, the K wings, these K wings are obviously going forward. Are you worried about the bombs mm -hmm. that are coming down here, or is it you know one of those where I think that you think <laughs> situations and Miranda actually turns into the alley where those bombs would have gone and uses slam in order to get away from there, and then you have these Arc 170s going in the wrong direction. I think green and blue can block off most of the escape, escape routes. Just from a straight in a bank. Agreed. It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one. This is a turn that's gonna definitely influence the game. Now, as we continue to wait here, I want to remind people of a couple of things. There's a lot of different ways you guys can support Gold Squadron in our efforts to bring you guys X-Wing media. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday here on the channel. Mondays from 8.30 to 10 is our podcast where we talk about X-Wing, and you guys are part of that discussion in the chat. Wednesdays, we are live starting at 6 p.m. Central during our X-Wing League Night where myself and other gold squadron members play against community members that's our opportunity to play and then on saturdays we are here gold squadron flight club starting at 5 p.m central we have community matchups with weird list building challenges it's been a lot of fun and we have some exciting news coming in the next couple months after we're done with galactic championships uh for flight club so coming soon it looks like we got a bomb drop there yeah that's what i was thinking about you, you drop the bomb uh Man, where, where are you going with Miranda? I mean, I was thinking you'd put Miranda where the blue K-Wing is. But mm, your K-Wings move before the arcs. Yeah, if green straights to match up where blue's at, you, you're blocking two turns, you're blocking three banks as well. Whatever, Miranda can regen her shield. <laughs> She'll stay here and take it. Yeah, the, the, the hard two to the left is looking real good on Miranda. I know that the bomb is there, but you should yeah. be able to slam out of range. Come on, Trevor. Oh, I was wrong. The, the, the arcs move before the K-Wing. So, yeah, you can you can use blue to know, the, the blue K-Wing to know that's where you can put Miranda because the arcs can't get there. I think green just left the open for Amber there. I'm really curious about this Miranda move. It's gonna be it's gonna be big. Mm, no, he's if Miranda went to the left, he's gonna need to slam green. And I'm not yeah. getting Oh he Later. no, he did it. He did it. Okay. He went to the left. Nice. Slam a jam to the right. So, can you Yeah, can you slam turn? That's gonna hit the rock, isn't it? Never tell medium bases. Uh, I think I think he's got it. And I've been flying one for pretty good. He took the nice. conservative bank. All right, that's fine. But dodged all three of those arcs. Very nice. Yeah. So we'll probably see some one or two shots out the back from those arcs, maybe into blue. I'm not even sure about that. It's looking like Miranda's back. I'm sure everyone's thrilled about that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I know I am. I quite like flying Miranda. I mean, after after we saw, I mean, after the uh, uh, triple contract uh, contracted scouts in 1.0, I mean, we st we've got jump masters back now. Maybe Miranda can come back too. There's nothing quite satisfying as Miranda with one shield with bomblet generator, and you just like reload both and then shoot and get your shield back. <laughs> 
Keliana, thank you so much for your gifted subs. We're at 110 subs. We're trying to reach that 150 by the end of the day. Thank you, everybody, who's done that. Exclamation point prime in the chat. We got a proton bomb going off. Both those arcs are eating some proton. It's all about part of... Yeah. <laughs> part of, you just ate. Part of that balanced <laughs> diet. Oh, and the Sabine uh, debuffs coming out. Takes a stress on blue. Tractor doesn't really do much here. Could save that for Obi-Wan, possibly. Damage sensor ray can only focus on that green Arc 170. I mean, most of the time they're doing greens anyway, and we're doing the jam to get rid of the focus. No defense for that green Arc 170. So you have had both a slam and a jam. Mm. Ooh. We have a song for that in the hex. Yeah, I know. I'm hitting the button and it's not doing anything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, can you hum the song, please? Mm -mm. Come on, it's like <laughs> And welcome to the jam. <laughs> um, he, so he jams green, which I'm, I'm not sure is the right call, because I don't... Yeah, green didn't have a shot. Um, and... and Keep in mind, Sabine is a May, so if you don't think that jam's going to do anything, eh, I guess it'll it'll remove it for the defense. Yeah, it got rid of the focus for the for the defense. That's what I was mm -hmm. so saying, man. But here we go. Let's find out what happens. Let's see if it ends up being worth it, right? Because you only get one of each of those tokens to pass around to the to the bad guys, and you got two hits on that side arc shot. Takes two. We might lose a arc 170 real early here. Two more health left on that one. Yep, another 2v2. It's for one. Nevertheless, that is a very strong lead uh, for Trevor there. Oh, man. And the stress on red means he can't K-turn next turn. Sure does. Also means that most likely he'd want to do a hard... Yeah, he would have wanted to do a K-turn. And even if he has, if he does the hard two next turn, it's going to take several turns for him to be unstressed. He'll have to like hard two, hard two again to get back into the fight. And now he's in the fight but stressed, no tokens. The stress there, absolutely fantastic. Man. It would have been nice to, to to hard turn and take a lock on Miranda before she moves, and then let her move her own, move away. Not an option anymore. The uh, the arcs have their blue banks are two blue banks, right? They haven't got the ones. I'm not thinking of something else. Sorry, I'm just pulling up the dial. Uh, yeah, one and two banks. Oh, it's one and two banks. Yeah. Yeah. Hard two, hard two. You're facing a rock, and you bank in, and you're facing another rock, and it's just not great. Uh, what do you, I mean, from this position, I guess you, I think you're the best if you just bail to, um, Trevor's side of the deployment zone and just regroup and come back later. Because trying to chase him now is just kind of pointless. Yeah, and you don't want to be behind, right? You, you don't want to sit behind the K-Wings with a bunch of bombs. Let's see, what does Sabine have left? A tractor and the... Ion, yeah. Medium bases, those aren't going to do much. You can save those for Obi-Wan. Right, but there, there was definitely a situation where that Arc-170 could have rolled two eyeballs on defense. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's one of the possible branches that existed there. So I don't necessarily think it was a bad use. I think it just coincidentally felt useless because it didn't get used. Like, there wasn't a situation oh, no, where it would have been useful. Yeah. You're right about the jam. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at what's left on Sabine. Ah, uh, yes. The good stuff is gone for now until you get to Obi-Wan. The juicy juice. So some uh, Rebel Spikes have revealed a 4K from green. Ah, yep. Yep. So and see, he uses that. Yeah. yeah, he uses that information. He knows where you're going to be. And then he's going to use Skilled Bombardier to drop a bomb. There it is. I reckon that <laughs> That's called synergy, fam. Yeah. I think a lot of people look at Cassian uh, and they're like, you know what? 
how often am I going to call it correctly? How often am I going to use it to change my dial? It can do other things, right? It can inform these types of decisions. Mm -hmm. So deciding to go with a K turn first, which then blocks blue. So he did not com fully complete that hard two. Which is un unfortunate in the sense that then that means that the next hard two is also going to be facing almost perfectly that rock. <laughs> Probably going to have to bank <laughs> next turn. I could be a direct on green. I'm feeding it. Oh no. Or a weapons failure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's no. worse than your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, weapons failure means... It You've lost all your ships, and direct means you just <laughs> Weapons failure being flipped up is like catching the snitch. The, the game's over. The other team won. Yeah. Okay. Miranda bumps. K-Wing's doing what they do. Most of the time, they don't want to take you head on. If they're using those, uh, those barrage rockets, they're usually in for a bad day because they're jousting something that they feel that they need to. But this, th right now, you are playing... Their game, the strafe game. This, come on, follow me, follow me, and let me know where you are. Cool, eat a bomb. Here we go. <laughs> so far, so good for Trevor. Saw, everyone saw that clone hit the rock and said, okay, and they had exactly where that rock's gonna be. And just, that was a good move that one time, right close to it. Now, Obi Wan can so pack a fine. punch. He is a 7B, Obi Wan. Mm hmm. I'm always wanting to line up that bullseye, but you don't need to do that on the 7B. He's in range Ooh. of uh, green. All right, here it is. It's a direct. Death rain. Gone. Y you wizard. Pop, pop. I'm a wizard. <laughs> green out. <laughs> and the bump there for blue ends up not getting anything because the uh, the arc, that blue arc is taking a crit as well. And what's oh, in the what box? Panic. Oh, that, that Triple stress. That arc 170 is never being unstressed that arc 170 is me uh <laughs> it's my spirit Relax. animal let me, let me let's get somebody in here to uh to give uh a massage to dion please <laughs> that that doesn't fall under my jurisdiction does it mm, <laughs> it does i wasn't told it did <laughs> just tell me what patreon tier that is <laughs> all right we got some attacks here obi-wan kenobi Dropping the axe, hit, hit, crit, and all of those going through here. Looks like a stabilizer, yep. Yeah. Take a damage if you don't go straight. Also, love these uh, customized crit tokens. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Shout out to Crazy Vulcan for the design. Yeah. And here we go. Red Arc 170 taking a shot at the... Uh, sorry, the... Take, blah. Words are hard. No damage. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that was Miranda <laughs> shooting into the blue Arc 170. <laughs> <laughs> Work through that one. Okay. <laughs> My speech teacher would not have been happy with that moment. Anyway, we continue. <laughs> one of one each... Hit. Is that a Yahtzee? Uh, I, I never played Yahtzee. Never mind. But it, it probably doesn't even make sense. It does not. One. <laughs> <laughs> Confirm. I, I, I've hey, never... triple blanks. Natties of some kind. This is the way. That's the call. You know what? There's a silver lining there. <laughs> Natural blanks. You did it. You did a thing. You did a thing that's that's difficult to do. Uh -huh. I'm always looking for that unicorn roll, uh, and you know, blank out. That that's kind of that's one of them. That's a rare one. Unicorn roll is where one dice is a blank, one dice goes off the table, and the other one goes up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be searching all my life for that one. Here's two hits. Uh, one evade, one focus, spins a force point, takes nothing. Obi-Wan extremely defensive. Oh, 
We got a range two shot coming in. Barrage rockets, I think. Yep. Yes. Barrage rockets in flight. Can we roll one of those blanks? Oh yeah, bullseye, you're right. Barrage rockets is such a good card. And there Spoken it like is. like a true Punisher player. Hit, yes. hit, crit. I, I'm not free for this. It's going to hmm. be taken two. Obi Wan oh. doesn't like that. Oh. I was thinking of uh, In Living Color. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> Obi, don't play that. Obi, don't play them games. Uh, so, speaking of Death Rain. Death Rain. Uh, what, are you going to be playing in uh, in any of these Galaxy qualifiers? Yeah, I got the uh, Dathomir, which is a couple of weeks away. Mm -hmm. Will you be flying the aforementioned Death Rain? I kind of have to because it's like a it's like a it's just like a walking advertisement for that ship. <laughs> All right, good if to I, know. If I show it up without Death Rain, they'll be like, "What are you doing? What are you doing with yourself?" That you you say rebranding. That's all. <laughs> yeah, now, now you're the all torrent guy. You're Tucker. Oh, no. Uh, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Swoop. Again. <laughs> this... <laughs> Swoop's tomorrow blog. I have to play. Tomorrow yeah, I have to play the final decider match of the Renegades team tournament with seven torrents. I'm not going to enjoy myself. <laughs> it's the last time you have to do that. Folks, um, bring a meme list to a tournament. You'll regret it. Back so blue, yeah, blue's got stabilizer. Uh, oh, straight Luke. looks okay though. Nah, turn left. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, seriously, you gotta you turn left. You keep range from uh, yellow turning in. Or banking, or whatever you should do it. You turn in from that. You're gonna hit that rock again. I actually. You see, that's how medium bases. That's very much part of the Death Rain brand, which is uh, hurting yourself for advantage. I think I would take the two straight. Take a focus, then you have enough space next turn to one straight, likely still have shots, clear the, the loose stabilizer with an action, and then bring it around town. Yeah, uh, I like it. It's a, it's a decent bombing position, too, if uh, if Obi-Wan ends up behind you. You guys are ganging up on me with this safe, safe moves and all that. <laughs> I'm just saying there's a lot of reasons to go straight. A lot of reasons to blow yourself up as well. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. See, Death Rain's favorite cards. Uh, Ruthless, Electronic Baffle, Dead Man Switch. Like, this dude will hurt himself all day if he thinks it puts him in a better position or gets him better dice. Usually it does. Mm -hmm. People are surprised. Drive over his own bombs. Oh, yeah, don't forget that one. That's funny. Also, flying full, sh full health ships off the board just to block other ships. I do that a lot. Uh, triple stress blue at the top, stressing me out. Um, does he start that long process of relieving stress, or does he just keep it in hard turn? He just holds it. The now. hard turn really gets you much. <laughs> this is part of me. This is part of me, yeah. All right. Say four straight from Obi Wan. Four straight. I mean, that's that's Obi Wan trying to get out of town, but I'm pretty sure that green can block that up. I. Anything in the one to two range should be able to to block that pretty easily. What's a two straight block right up? Nah, I could not Could it? And I think hey, we, Death Rain, if I would if uh Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say if if Trevor wins this game, it's because of this decision right here that you called wrong. Just want uh, you to know. <laughs> Thanks. Love you. Uh he's gonna hop in the middle of that. Slam. And that range one bubble is bad for green. Yeah, because he can't shoot. Yeah. Because bar barrage rockets are range two to three. He's taking the focus. He's hoping for a block there. I think Obi Wan's gonna yeah, gonna skate away from that. The two bank would have blocked him up. The one bank's just a bit short. Bessie nine zero six, thank you for the sub. And that blue arc one seventy is owning his identity as a stressed arc one seventy. Yep. Ooh, 
a little bump there for Miranda. I thought she might one forward and get a barrage rocket shot into Obi, but that is not what happens. I wonder if originally in Trevor's plan was to slam. And Obi-Wan fits, threads the needle, should be able to pop green or Miranda pretty hard here. If you think it's range one, actually it is range one because it's less than two banks, but you stay right there. You just hang out. You're completely safe. Take a focus. Lock and load, baby. Yeah, he's probably just double checking. There are no proximity mines on blue, right? No, okay. This is a relatively safe position. You might take one shot from Miranda. Maybe getting low, yes. You will take a shot from Miranda. Oh, I just noticed that Miranda doesn't have a... Oh, none of the K-Wings do. Okay, cool. Still thinking about it. How many force points? He's got all of the... He's got two force points. So a lock is not unreasonable. Yep, he's moving it over. And of the two ships in front of him, Miranda's both worth more and more damaged. Mm-hmm. Get into that juicy, also, juicy center. Her, yeah, and if you, you strip that shield, you steal her ability to drop a shield and throw more dice at you. Now, I don't think she would do that, but don't give her the option. And that's confirmed range one. Here it comes. Yep. Essentially a fully modified shot. Gotta just spend the force. Just take it. Just do it. That crit's going through. Oof, yeah, it is. Miranda. All of them hit, 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 crit. It does now give her the option to regen that shield if she needs to. Fuel leak. Fuel leak. All right, now she'll get a shield, or she'll get a shot. Uh, it could be a pretty. Oh, it is a range one, so she could. Regenning Get the, the shield. shield back, so only going to throw two at range one. I mean, uh, Obi's only rolling two greens, so you never know. Hey, especially Ooh! when you roll two Open hits. That is. All right, it's going to be taking one. Spends a force. Oh, force. Oh, excuse... Yeah, the force. Blah. Death of Earth. Alright, obstructed shot, range 3. 3v3. This is the stressed one. Let's see if he's out for some vengeance. Ooh. No. But there's a chance. Miranda doesn't have any mods. Oh, all right. There it is. Yep. Got another one. Takes that shield away. Ooh. Range two. Yeah. Says it's obstructed. Oh, he's got a lock. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. This is a fully modded shot. We're going to be here a while. That's right. We could lose Miranda this turn. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Possible. Go for what left? Miranda looking for the squiggle. Was it range two or range three? Uh, it is range two obstructed. Ah, okay. That is a dead matter. F's in the chat for Miranda. You hate to see her go. Yep, that's it. Oh, oh hull upgrade. Oh, upgrade. <laughs> oh, don't write her off yet. I know what I just said. Hey, guys, take those Fs back, all right? Yeah. Take the Fs back. Refund those Fs. Refunded. That's the thing, right? The, the side swipe and taking out uh, an arc early is a great opener, but at the moment, you're not getting um, your front arcs shots on and the arcs are starting to out damage you now well i mean i think green needed to sl like miranda needed the option to escape but bumping we weren't able to 
Yeah, if you bump, you, you can't escape. Yeah. Uh, on the, uh, the recordings. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clip that. Too late. Someone's done it. Uh, green does have a range one shot. Sure does, off that corner. 3v2. Has a focus hiding under there. Ooh, nothing to spend it on. Hit crit. A blank in here means half points on Obi. Not today. Not. Mm. Hello there. <laughs> All right. Back to dial. So we get at least one more turn of potential bombs from Miranda. Could drop a, a proxy to just try and cut blue off. So he's stressed has to dodge a rock and a proxy and the board edge and yeah it's not having a good day for blue is it negative see i think uh... blue needs a hug how much has he got left five left wow okay he's he like taking one k wings or the arcs i wasn't paying attention who what? He was moving first, K wings of the arcs. The uh, arcs. Mm -hmm. yeah, the arcs 170. R uh, Richard is the first player. Ready player one. Anybody here going to read the ready player two book? I actually never even read the books. I just. Was... Okay. I, I, I was going to say that, but I didn't want to admit that. No, it's fine. Uh, I, I, see, here, here's the thing. I, I've, I've told this to my viewers a lot. Like, I had a very sheltered childhood, so there's a lot of, lot of like, pop culture things I just don't understand and or ever experienced. Um, mm -hmm. a, as a music teacher, I get really frustrated when people are like, oh, do you know this song? And they're like, oh, you're supposed to know this song. You're a music teacher. I'm like, how am I? I'm not going to know every, like, rock band pop american thing from like the 80s you teach music you should know every sound exactly correct <laughs> <laughs> all of them <laughs> should be you know, interesting somebody said read um, the book Dion. i did not i did not read ready player one sorry i was too busy reading snow crash and neuromancer <laughs> ready player one it's a little shallow for me <laughs> just troll all the uh Ready Player One fans in the chat. There you go. Death Rangers can't read, so... Uh, oh, yeah. Not a lot of books to go through. Sorry, some people are colorblind. Uh, Death Rain just can't read. <laughs> I could do the Brain one. incapable. You could join the dots. So I could do that one. <laughs> He's really great at word searches. He just... He can he can find the shapes. Doesn't know what they mean. Yeah, what's the one for the, uh, the color by numbers? Yeah, I do some of those. I well. think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's my lot. <laughs> we have we have an open debate in the uh, uh, in the chat about the movie versus the uh, <laughs> the book. See, I always find uh -oh. I always find myself in a weird spot when we have uh, debates on on movie versus book when it's a book I've never read because I'm like I yeah. I had fun with the movie, but I understand there's definitely plenty of book movies that I've read the book and I'm like I didn't enjoy it as much. But anywho. A little bit about us. It's time for some shenanigans here. This is the Cassian Green K Wing. Yes, has Cassian Ooh. aboard. Taking a look at the dial. Take a take a guess at the dial for funsies. Ah, uh, tell me Miranda called that. Two sloop. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it seems like staying that close is very dangerous. So green gonna drop a proton. Hmm. Probably gonna be. What, what it's was close. the what was the flip the uh, the dial on Obi Wan? Uh, it's still out there. Two sloop to the right. Two sloop. Okay. Yeah. If the proton doesn't hit Obi Wan because of the angle he's put it out, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a weird one for sure, but also remem remember 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 that weird angle that the uh, that that Jedi was placed at in placement might end up over rotating it enough to still be in range. 
Oh yeah, that's what would trigger Death Rain the most is if this ends up being the key, the, the round where it mattered. That set him <laughs> up. That deployment set him up for this turn. Miranda, you gotta drop something. There you go. Proton, a little safe, but all right. Stuff. I like bombs. Bombs are great. <laughs> They're everywhere. You're here, folks. Death Rain likes bombs. I'm having a great time watching all these things go off. Just for you. Yeah. Oh, baby, a triple. The one bank in, so definitely taking one of those. Can't barrel roll away from that. And the yellow ARC 170 right now still has all of its shields, but I mean, there's of course value in just getting getting rid of those so that you can start getting into that juicy, juicy center. I believe we decided earlier that the inside of a ship, I mean, tastes like what? What, what was the flavor that we decided? I forgot. It's a, it's a Tootsie Roll Center. Tootsie Roll. That, uh, Tootsie Pop. Yep. Uh, not sponsored. Uh, ooh. Yet. Get, on get a rock. it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Get at me, Hershey, That's or whoever owns Tootsie Roll. That's right, and no damage on the rock. Not taking the bomb, though. That's good. Can we give Trevor bonus points if he uses all the Sabine charges? Uh, a bonus high five. Imaginary yep. high five. Ooh. Yeah. Give Ricky bonus points if he hits every rock. <laughs> if you can win and hit every rock, it's like a pinball game, then yeah, absolutely. Plus 200 MOV. K Wing's just getting out of dodge. I wonder if Green will slam a jam to avoid his buddy's proton bomb. Probably should, but I mean, you have the shield, so. Yeah, this one's not touched yet. You could stay and but it... drop another one next turn. Yeah. See, see this guy gets it. Yeah, just... Spirit of Death Rain, guide me. Lose these shields so I can bomb again later. Get out of there. More damage. See, Miranda knows where Obi's going to end up. You could just stay there, bump, and hopefully Obi-Wan takes both. I mean, but then you're taking. That's fine. Honestly, like. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hey, real quick, uh, Nick, uh, the the loose stabilizer is cleared on the blue. Oh, okay, and you tracked her forwards. Yeah, stay where you are. Oh, no, where are you going? Oh, she's on one hole. Why, no, no, why no. kill her? So Obi-Wan takes both protons, right? Yeah. And you trigger Miranda, you trigger Sabine to track to Obi-Wan straight forward towards the, the board edge. I... How does why does Miranda need to stick around for that? To block him. He's gonna get it anyway. Yeah, you're getting that shield off. There's half points on Obi already. You can. Uh, it's not can, enough, Scott. Can you trigger that one bomb? Yes. And yes. Tractor you... him forward and then oh, trigger yeah, the second one. Done. Okay. <laughs> yes, I absolutely. See, see Deathrain, does that does that satisfy you? Can we? Yes, it does. <laughs> Can we uh, tractor him into another bomb? Now he can, he can stress to reposition after. Oh, okay, so no, it's not going to tractor him because you, you can only Sabine once per bomb or once per turn. How's that worded? Once per bomb. <gasps> uh, Excuse me. After a friendly ship suffers the effect of a friendly bomb, you may remove one ion jam stress or tractor token from this card. If you do, that ship gains a matching token. So, so you can ion on the first one and then uh, tractor on the second. Of he's the not if you yeah track, uh, I mean, he would he would have the tractor first sad i'm super sad so i think what death is going to say is that the risk is if you tractor obi forward he gets the option of turning and he could turn left and probably shoot miranda truth but the the yellow arc 170 might be able to tag in anyway eyes out of range you know what's what's better than not taking two shots not Taking one. Oh boy, that's poorly worded. <laughs> it's just so opposite. Opposite. That. We know. We know. We know what you meant. All right, Obi Wan taking a shot here. Did we? <laughs> At range three, <laughs> into the green K wing. After the green K wing took a shield, got two hits, and one.
Miranda out the side. Oh, she slammed. Uh, yellow into Miranda. She's got one haul. Here's a 3v2. And that guy's got a target lock. And you go ahead and lock those two. Dig deep. Yep. Get yourself a Miranda. Right. Miranda clinch. Huh? Oh, hey, oh, they're saying there's a that. chance. Oh, that's not how you do it. And vindicated. You could have had you could have had the tractor on Obi Wan. Double crits. You, you got control of the next turn, and that's what's important because now Green can drop a uh, a two back proton bomb right on him, and he's going to take that under the shield. True, true, pero por qué no los dos? Hmm. Hmm. I don't speak French. <laughs> no idea what I want. Because <laughs> he could have, he could have tractored him with the, you know, he could have gotten ion tractor, and then another crit next turn as well. Like have it all, cake and eat it too. But Man, it's he... all right. It is what it is. So green has a proton bomb left and skill bomb and deer, and Obi's gonna eat that. Oh, you cool. know what? The, the one reason I will I will support Dion's uh, uh, play here. The one, the now one reason. <laughs> Miranda, Miranda's off the board, and she's still got a Sabine charge, and now that can't be used. Yep. I was okay when he says it, but when I say it, it's stupid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know how this works I'm now. Gonna die anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I really like this list. I might fly it at uh Daphomir. no i'm tempted it looks really cool there's a lot of trickery stuff going on here <sighs> what are we at 106 to 78 mm -hmm. this, this, reasonably close it is it is a close game you have um you know half of obi-wan flips the game back to trevor but right now one of the things that trevor needs to be careful with i know he probably feels he he was in control of the game until he lost Miranda. Now it comes to being able to take advantage of your opportunities. We're not going to worry about Obi-Wan. With the, uh, you know, We talked about how he could have had even another crit into him from the following term. But... It's what we were talking about earlier with these, um, uh, the arcs uh, have control of the center. And have the arcs facing towards, you know, with them skimming around the sides. So they skim around the sides of two red dice. Arcs have three red dice and they're just going to lose in the damage race. Yep. Yep, exactly. And with with the ion maneuver coming up from Obi Wan, how much can you act? Beside, there is a crit coming with the skilled bombardier. That is for sure happening. But outside of that, can you take any more advantage of the ion? And I think that kind of probably tells you that the bombers are going to be forced, if they want to, they're going to be forced to turn to the right, which gives them shots, but at the same time also gives Obi Wan shots. Do you do Cassie and Obi? Just for the giggles. Oh, he's out of range, isn't he? <laughs> Casting on green. Uh, Is he doing yeah. a two straight? No? Okay. <laughs> Let's try. So 4K from yellow, that seems pretty obvious, right? You can't turn in after you. Oh, you can. Uh, okay. uh, why, I mean, why would you want to? Because then green, green's going right, probably, and you're out of position. So you'll K turn. To do your target. You're, you're not getting mods either way. So just K turn. Then, you, then you're further away without mods. We'll have a yellow be closer with mods. Sorry, without mods. You're, you're not getting a shot this turn. Yeah. Okay, we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> but Dion, me and Scott are like a, a married couple that bicker a lot. <laughs> it's it's, like, it's, it's not worse than my childhood, so you're good. <laughs> Whoa, that Ooh, got gonna... deep. People got deep. It's fine. That's fine. I turned out okay. Right? That's how this works? Guys, add that to the Gold Squadron wiki. Uh, yeah, uh, wiki. <laughs> uh, so Cassian's blue. Blue's gonna self bump, I reckon. Too hard left. Death Rain, actually, I, I really like that little, little tactical bump action. I like that. Hmm, that proton. Oh, we should have... Uh... Oh, no, he's going to be in range, isn't he? Yeah, with the Ion Maneuver, he'll be in there. 
And I think that... Oh, is he? Wow. Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, we were both wrong, Death Right. <laughs> he did that to bring us back together. <laughs> Tactical bomb there. Oh, nice. Geez. Can we get some BB-8s in the chat? for that? That is a pro-level move. Pro-level move pro by Richard. Yeah. I like that. Take two crits on your arc so that Obi doesn't have to. <laughs> yes. Look at his power. I think Skill Bombardier would have still tagged Obi. I was uh, if it was one more back, maybe. Yeah. That, would have, that would have been a mistake if, done, if that was in. Yep. There's the Ion move. I'm gonna stay right there. Clears the stress because that is a blue one forward when you execute an ion maneuver. You're only allowed to do a focus after it. Of course, if you fully execute it, not happening there. I mean, this is like this is like two clone troopers jumping on a grenade to hole. save the general. Hole breach on blue. Oh, don't be a weapons failure. Don't be a weapons failure. Panic. Panicked. Mo oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's on yellow. Okay, I thought it was on blue. Now, no, now they're all stressed. Every all, all the arcs, they're freaking out. Not a good day for the arc 170s. Now let's see. Obi Wan Ooh. is going to be out of range. Don't forget the arc yep. 170s do have back arcs, which we will see come into play here in a little bit. They get to shoot first. Yellow. Range three into green. Ooh. One crit. Pulls a crit of his own. Green still has shields. Fine. This is fine. One of eight. Blue obstructions into blue, range two. And it rhymes. And another Ooh, crit. Another crit. Jinx Yomiya Soda. Focuses. Blue does not have shields, so he's definitely going to spend it. Yes. Let's see if uh, could pile a couple, couple of crits on. Uh, uh, get a few more panics on blue. Yep. <laughs> only two in the deck, isn't there? There are only two, so we we got them both. And not starting Oof. strong. No re-rolling modifiers there. Green gets an opportunity now. Two v one this time, not obstructed. Green actually has. Oh, we're gonna go into yellow. Okay. Uh, like that. He's, going, he's, he's got a hole breach. He's going for the for the half points. He's one away from half. Uh, okay. And he's getting it. He's getting it right and there. there. It is. Nice, smart play there by Trevor. Ninety nine. Getting up to those a hundred and twenty points now, with that half Ooh. of the K wing. Very nice. If there's no other so he... points traded right now, Trevor is ahead. Good play. That's being aware of the math right there. So now you I went to the option to back off if you need to. I'm glad he's paying attention to the math, because I went to art school, so I wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> I, I never do that. I never work out points until about the end, anyway. Ugh. Next level, please. Look at all the stress so on many. these Arc 170s. So at this point... Louis, Louis, the... Hey, do disengage. Back to his deployment zone. Agreed. Uh, just because of the... You want to get those three dice shots on. At the minute, you're just doing two dice blinkers, and it's not going to be enough. So you want to get turned around and, and get those barrage rockets lined up? Yeah, definitely. And you can also back away, and you can reload one of your protons. Yeah, I just... It's kind of a bummer not to press these arcs while they're double and triple stressed. You might you might not need to. You might be able to 
to keep it keep it chill. One of the things you have to watch out for, of course, is the um, the back arc. You know, they can they can shoot you from weird angles as well. Even while mm -hmm. just working on just doing one straights, something something super simple, you still get shots out the back. The problem, of course, is that these K wings could likely get two shots on one versus uh, versus one on you know one on one. And they're going to be running away and. You'd be hard pressed to get like a you know, range three obstructed two low shot. You know, it doesn't seem it feels like you're overextending yourself a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you're not going to so, get enough payoff. We saw Castian use there, expose the two bank, and yeah, there was didn't want to drop any bombs from the K wings. Relieves one stress on the blue arc, and I think he's down to one. Yeah, I haven't got it. Nope, left. no, he's got two. Two more stress. Yeah. All right. Making the turn, not uh, not disengaging. Ooh, did That's he hit it? He just did. He just barely yeah, he hit it. it. He sure did. Green, not liking that. Especially that's that's your most Man. healthy one. You don't want to give away health for free, and you don't this time. No consequences. Uh, going for that jackpot. In bases, man, uh, they they're ethical. <laughs> I've been flying a medium base exclusively for three years, and I still don't know how to fly around rocks. See, I, I feel like you say that, and then every IG player in the world's like, medium base, so great. <laughs> no, 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 no. Banking, banking past rocks, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Turning around rocks, nah. <laughs> don't risk it. All right, here. Is that reach? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So he actually, um, Richard is going to have two shots into that blue K-wing. Good positioning there with the tactical bump for yellow. Two hits. Natties. Let's get some natties in the chat. Let me fire two dice. Oh, that wasn't open one. That was, that was the arms. Yeah, Obi didn't have shot. Uh, blank focus. Lackluster. K-wing. Get a shot back. Unobstructed. Now you go for the hole breach one. Yes. He's behind cover. Well, yeah. I actually, yeah. You, there, there is an argument for yellow just because you're like, you might be more likely to actually catch that one in arc multiple times. Like, you might be able to kill it sooner. Mm -hmm. I know that the, you know. Well, you got a crit. Nice. A crit. Hopefully it's good. What's in the box? Panic. No, there aren't any more panic, right? <laughs> Sensor array. It can only perform focus actions there. Takes away the more, the barrel roll. I mean, you, you weren't doing actions anytime soon anyway. Yeah, but it's just like insult to injury, right? Like, hey, you know how it took you like seven turns to get an action? Well, now when you get that action, it can only be this. That's right. No choices for you. I think he's fast. Yeah. Focus is the only action you take with that ship. You could barrel roll. You could target lock if you think they're moving away from you. Don't tell me what I can do with my ARC 170s. Do what you want, man. Oh, I didn't have <laughs> Grown, grown man, you do what you want. <laughs> now, a quick reminder to the 452 beautiful souls watching right now. First, remember, Dion loves you. And second, we have two more rounds after this, so stick around. Look, <laughs> looking. <f> <laughs> Good that was have a you. dramatic pause. Oh, I mean, I, you, you got to make those pauses thick. You have to. It is It is a... Uh, you know what? I might even I might even call that pause pregnant. Mm. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. That's a pregnant pause. That's an expression. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. And the stress is gone. Back to this it's just like an American thing. Hang on. No, here's... Yeah, down to one stress on blue. <laughs> Does blue K ring turn in? Is that a reload? It sure is. Green. Yes. Because I'm expecting everyone to try and get into that range one uh, dead zone for the, uh, the K wing. 
first time caller asking Thanks, what's the most number of viewers we've ever had well i think it's like 1000 it was like 1100 and change look at this flex <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a flex it's just answering <laughs> questions mm -hmm. so truff is now doing the thing i was talking about back off reload turn around hopefully yeah obi would just gonna just sit in that, in that dead zone how are we coming for you what you gonna do about it one for a lock get a 3v2 all right obi-wan trying to do the work here now Obi has the tools in order to to keep the barrage up. Blank, blank focus. Not a great first roll, but he's got. Oh, he's not gonna save that focus. All right. Let's see what keep defense point, says, and gonna get gonna take them both. Now I Yikes. gotta I gotta take a second here and shout out to uh, Ava. The uh, the the child of Jazzy in the chat, Jazzy B, because uh, apparently when we said we had two more rounds, she said, "What? Two more? Yes, there's two more, honey. There's two more. <laughs> X-wing, baby, let's go." <laughs> you know what? Tell her, tell her she doesn't have to listen to Scott and Death Rain anymore. So at least there's that. She can take solace in that. <laughs> But Dion's not going anywhere. Make the Batman go away, Daddy. <laughs> not that bad. Well, I'm not you. Are. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to this turn where the blue Arc 170 gets in action. It's probably going to be to flip Sensor Array, but you know what? He gets to make that decision. All right. Maybe power rolls. Yeah, both K wings did reload this turn. <laughs> both K wings did reload this turn. Uh, I see a couple people asking in the chat. So um, th that is something that we could see come into play. No, no excuse me. Sorry. The the blue yeah, the, the, blue the green slam. the green the green one reloaded. So we have another <laughs> another proton bomb out there. Which is why it's it's like even more strange to me that Obi didn't keep that focus around. I guess he wanted all three this round, but he wasn't taking any shots. Hmm. Here we go. We got some barrage. Oh, Obi Wan getting in range one. That's a fine tuned control. You know, I think Obi Wan could have barrel rolled to the right and then bank boosted and been in range one front arc and not gotten shot by by green yeah you're right but obi's gonna be sticking around but gets to punch hard here three hits one's out this the box this might kill um uh, the k wing does not one left that was big because it means it gets to shoot to uh, rockets back at obi that was range two excuse me but that was into blue not into green i got excited Oh, well, you're right. Didn't yep. make it into that range one bubble, so blue gets a barrage rocket, green gets a side arc. This might be F's in the chat for Obi. He could have had them both. You're right. Slow down. Oof, spend Oof. the focus for three. Taking so one for sure. one to go through. Yep. That's two. Taking two. One health Ooh, left on Obi Wan. Green K Wing trying to put the nail in the coffin. Put him in the coffin. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Can be avoided. Needs both paint, doesn't it? Obi's got this. Use the force. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, this is big for. Um, I was going to say, like, Green had a good two turn around that rock, and if. Uh, the Arc 170 wants to engage that way, you're getting a rocket shot at range 3 bullseye. But you can't anymore because everyone's blocking your way. Green have bombs. Green does have a bomb. 
That's nice. Yep, Cassian, <laughs> Cassian uh, shenanigans definitely are live this upcoming turn. As well as possible blocking opportunities for blue. Uh, Blue's got one health. If you drop your bomb, then blue's gonna die. Um, but obviously that's a good thing to do, because that's something I sell for. How, so yeah, so everyone's on one health. If you can get the block and bomb, that's him out of the fight. And that's blue out of the fight. And then green K has to take up two uh, nah. half health arcs. Doable, but risky. So green's your healthy one. Uh... And has all the rocket shots as well. about Cassian it's like it's during the system phase so you can go I don't you know based on what you see then you can drop bombs or not mm -hmm. that can also or you can use this yeah I think you're about to say the same thing Did 4k you... 4k is the move yeah hmm. hmm but you could name the maneuver that you're not prepared for and that if that does end up being the maneuver then you could change your dial uh, but is going to use it for bomb information here dropping a proton from green. Trying to work out if that hits or not. Uh, I think he's got oh, it. Oh man. I think he's got yeah. it. It's it's close, but I think he's got it. I think he's got it too. And there's nothing Obi can do about it. Nobody here to block you now. Nobody stopping me now. Mm-mm. But then you go kaboom. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna go, <laughs> it always feels like nobody's stopping me. Yeah. Doesn't work. It's alright. <laughs> and no matter how this game ends up, I do want to make sure that we get live during the recording. Trevor and Richard, this has been an awesome back and forth game. Thank you guys so much. So, uh, Queen K wing reloads. Too hard. Did it oh. clear? Oh, it bumped. You're... Nah. Blue. Dead. <laughs> that's awful close. That's, that's two dev ships. Yep. I, I'm not sure about blue, but... No, yeah, blue... I think... Yeah, I think yeah, the that, prognosis is dead. yes. It's not looking good, Doc. I want a second opinion. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> I'm not even close. <laughs> the timing on that was perfection. Oh, so good. And that's the that's the that's the expertise that you can find over at Hexiled Gaming. <laughs> so the guy who's been dropping bombs for three years, and you're like, no, I want a second. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't make me pull up my Death Rain's wrong playlist. <laughs> Is that alongside the Scots wrong playlist? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot control. confirm nor deny the existence of that one. Of course you can't. Okay, that's a sacrifice you're willing to make. Uh, blue for Obi. Yep, that, that's a that's a good trade on uh, on Trevor's part. 156 to 137. The trouble is, with 6 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock, if both of these ARC 170s catch the Warden, and the Warden is not able to take one of them off the, uh, off the board, most likely Richard wins. So these next couple turns... Is uh is really gonna flip the game. Richard should want two to three turns in this next six six minutes. You gotta play fast. Uh, Trevor wants less. <laughs> whatever whatever that lower yeah. number is. Now Trevor's got a pretty big advantage. He moves after the arcs and he can slam. So he is very maneuverable and gets all the information. All right, look at this. Blue's gonna take this opportunity yes. to get a lock. Yes, good good tactical decision there by Richard acquire the target lock while you can that way when you come in range which is going to be next turn most likely you can get a fully modified shot and Trevor is going to be thinking about some slam a jam actions here looking so at the, I don't look looking out. at the paths of uh of where those those ships can go yeah I, I don't like this because I, I think where he was he he could he had the opportunity to too hard in or go straight now he has to go into the corner. He doesn't have a choice. Yep, that's exactly. Uh, he's gonna free bank. 
three bank, three bank next turn. But e even, well, in, even with the with the with the three yeah, bank, well. most the double three banks. The question is, will blue be able to get around the rock to get a shot? I don't think so. Uh, it it oh, ends no. up being yellow versus the K wing. Now we've seen before the the two turn on a meter base is going to clip that. You have to be right alongside it, alongside the edge. All right, reveals the three bank. Ooh, I like it. But unfortunately, it's going to do a three bank and take a rocket shot. Reaching, going to slam down the focus, trying to catch that. K-Wing arc looking something like this. I think the K-Wing just got past. Uh, no, no. no. I think you still got him. Still yeah, got I the corner. Yeah, you slam into yellow, right? Yep, you slam a jam. Just, just, just slammed it. There's no, no consequences. Exactly, and there's no, you don't, you can't fail a slam. It, it's a maneuver. Yep, you complete it like a regular maneuver. Mm -hmm. Now you're not getting shot. Love it. Are the crits accurate on blue? Uh, blue does not have any crits right now. Shouldn't. Yeah, hull breach and damage sensor array should be gone. Yep. And now, most likely, it's bomb time. Bomb time for that Arc 170. High time for bomb time, I think. Still got one proton left. See a three forward, three bank, something like that. Another three bank, three bank. Move as fast as you can. Oh man, coming down to three minutes, maybe one, maybe two turns. Man, what a what a roller coaster for this game because mm -hmm. we had uh, early on some bad positioning. Blue went on that rock, uh, got a damage card on early. I think it was uh, uh, Pink Pilot double stressed, um, and it looked like Trevor had an early advantage. And then we lost Miranda. Things started looking bad for him, and then got back into the game, killed Obi, and now he's looking ascendant. He's he's on top, and he's gonna be hard to catch. Lots of back and forth for sure. It's been good. So doing the two bank here, hoping to get that back arc on. No way, not with slam. Three bank around the rock. And like in a couple of turns, you'll be on the other side of the map. It's a seriously fast ship. Yep. Now I Quickest just real quick, did uh did he? give up an opportunity to drop a bomb there yeah i guess so yep it's a bit of a flex <laughs> i don't even don't even need it i don't even need him nah it's like when it's the last turn of the game and go you know what i don't want to shoot you because of what he won people don't do that except you <laughs> you are the only one who does that <laughs> I'm not even gonna shoot. Crosses his arm, blows, yeah, uh, vape in, smoke in your face. In my defense, my opponent said, let's make it quick. <laughs> so let's skip a few steps. And there's, there's another slam and we're, we're gonna get another turn. You know what? I think they heard me say only two turns left and now they're moving real fast. <laughs> this is like, I mean, the, no this shot, like so. the fourth, like the, the third one. Yeah, we should have at least one or two more. Yeah, one of the big big focuses right, here turns, uh, so. when playing uh, these online tournaments, I, I like to focus on being respectful of people's time, and uh, that includes mm -hmm. just you know just trying trying to play at a good pace. You know, I know that sometimes we get stuck, but we got to keep things moving. Literally got people all around the world playing, which is can we just say again, amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank you to everybody who's supporting the Galactic Worldwide. Championship. Mm. The not world championships series. <laughs> so again, the worldwide galactic championship. Mr. Worldwide Pitbull's gonna be jealous. <laughs> say, say that again. Sorry. So, you, Nick, say that again. You cut I off. Said, Mr. Mr. Worldwide Pitbull's gonna be jealous. <laughs> Dally. So again, uh, Blue's not gonna get around that rock. 
Um, so you really only have to worry about yellow in this last round coming up. All right. Looks like the overall timer for the event just went off. And there's the table. All right. What can you do, green? So you've got to slam out of that blue's arc. Yep. Uh, you got to get hit by yellow. Uh, how much damage do you need for half on the on um, uh, K win? It's six and three, so four, five, five. So three damage, and that's half points. Yep. Range two, no mods, it is possible. Oh, he's got a lock. Uh, with, with mods, it is possible. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. Ye yellow could be a hero here. If you get half point on this K-Wing, there's a chance. Hey, step Go one. Lock. Step one, roll dice. Step two, modify dice. No, uh, it's not enough to do not it. Not enough. Just give him the That's shields out of pity. Double. There it is. What a game. Yep, and Trevor takes it with triple K wings. Congratulations to Trevor.